Welcome to another episode of Titan PI TV, where we're looking at the inside workings of an operational investigation agency. Today we're here in Manchester at our Manchester office and we're going to be looking inside an observations vehicle. We're not going to be giving any trade secrets away, we're just going to be showing you typically some, but not extensively, some of the props which might be used on a normal operation. So let's have a look. So for ease, we've put all the props at the rear of the van just to help on loading to be able to demonstrate what kit we carry but usually this will be stowed away uh, safely and tidily in the side cabinets. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these props. First and foremost, we've got a pillow. You need to be comfortable. There's usually a lot of downtime in surveillance. Not every deployment, but when there is downtime, as long as we've got control of a subject premise where the subject is, there's no reason why you can't get comfortable in your vehicle, and a pillow will always help. Fluorescent clothing, orange for railways, and yellow for construction. There's no reason why you can't put your yellow high-vis on, litter picker, and a black bin liner. There's no reason why you can't then use this to get close, to get evidence or intelligence. You'll be seen but not remembered because you fit the environment you're in. Various hats and caps to change uh, your appearance. It might be certainly during COVID, we were using masks and we would change the masks different descriptions to help dis change your description. It might be you're in an open space such as Hyde Park or a rural environment where uh, a subject's gone dog walking. Just some soil in a doggy bag and a dog lead will give you a reason to be somewhere. You'd be amazed how many people wouldn't spot that you haven't got a dog. But it might be that you use these props to get close in that sort of environment to a subject who's met an associate. You need to get ID imagery of your associate. Just go and ask the question. I've lost my black Cocker Spaniel, have you seen one? You can then covertly record that and you've got the imagery you need. Yes, exposed, but we manage our exposure post using props. But it gives us a reason to be there. We might be on industrial estate, so the van would be ideal. Patron decorator outfits, etc. It might be that we are holding an address and there is nowhere to covertly be able to see the entrance exit to the subject address. So something as simple as traffic survey in progress sign in conjunction with a flashing yellow light would be an overt to be covert. We've had it before where we've used this scenario and the subject has come out and asked what we're doing and we've stated that we're working on behalf of the council doing a traffic survey for traffic calming measures. He was over the moon with that and all day he was bringing cups of tea and coffee to our OBS van not knowing that we're watching him. Yes the OBS van can't be then used in that operation when it goes mobile but a perfect covert OP covert to be overt. Wash bag, you might be on a five hour job. That job turns into a 12, 14 hour. You might be miles from home so you get a hotel or sleep in the rear of your vehicle. So let's make sure we've got wash kit, we've got towels, we've got underpants and socks so that we're still fresh. Camera gear, we always carry a drone, gives you the aerial views to get intelligence or evidence. We have camcorders, so this is the AX53 and various other bits of kit. So, more cameras, more uh, camcorders, so the uh, CX250. Covert cameras that look like everyday items. And then for your still imagery, it might be at night when you need to make it look like daylight so that you can get an update shot, for example, and the various lenses. It might be that you've been on a two-day operation and you haven't seen your subject and you want to know whether the subject is at home. Or it might just be a pretext inquiry where before we do mobile operations or surveillance operations, we need to know whether a subject is at that location from our research. So simply, don some dark clothing so you look like a courier. You have a made up package and a dummy signed for device. You look the part. People don't bat an eyelid. It might be that, like in the scenario where we've got nowhere to cover a visual from, 
we dress our car up to look like a taxi. So we've put an illuminated light on along with uber magnetics. That gives you a reason to be in a place. It might be a van like this or a vehicle. We change its appearance with chevrons and highway maintenance. It changes the appearance of that car and any trigger that a subject may have seen on it. One thing with the taxi signs we need to be very careful of is other taxis will be looking to see if you're poaching work and two, are you licensed? Clearly you're not licensed, so you're not insured to collect a subject or individuals in your vehicle, but you do need to be careful as regards that third party awareness. It might be that you need to stand on a busy high street, so you could use something like a food delivery service bag. Combine that with a helmet and various bits of clothing branded to look like that company, you can sit on an e-scooter or a bike for at least 20 to 30 minutes in an urban environment. You need to be comfortable as well. You might be in an observations van for eight hours. You're gonna need a toilet break in that time. So make sure you're able to go to the toilet and potentially have bags in case you get caught out as well because once you're in position, it's not covert to be moving an observations point. So you need to try, have your van kitted out for every eventuality or your vehicle, but you need to be comfortable and be able to fit into all types of environment. So this vehicle, we've got a fairly simple setup. We've got a 12 volt leisure battery, which is connected through various electronic means to be able to give us uh, 240 volt power. That also gives us a number of sockets in the back, which are 12 volt sockets, USB, and USB-C, which allows you to keep all your kit charged up whilst on operation, or even warm. So that gives you a flavour for some of the props which might be used on a live surveillance operation. It's not giving any secrets away, it's just giving you a flavour of what we use to keep our exposure at a minimum. If you're interested in becoming a private investigator and would like to train with Titan, who are professionals in this field, then please visit www titaninvestigations.co.uk and click on the training tab. Alternatively, if you require our services, then please visit www.titaninvestigations.co.uk and visit our service page.